John just called me, dropped me off another washer. So yeah, I just drop it off. I'll pick it up. I'll be there. He just dropped me this off. And he just got this off the street. It says works, leaks, rubber door gasket free. Like fuck, how am I gonna get that off? Oh, excuse my language. It's pretty rough condition. Uh, soap gobs everywhere. Oh my god. Man, that door boot looks like crap. The bearings are okay at least. Pretty smooth. Alright, let's plug it in and see what happens. So I'll just wait till I get another door boot and replace it. Okay, let's plug it in. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. No friggin' way. No way. Well, I gotta take that cover off now. Oh. Drain it out, right? Yeah. Ah, shit. Fucking getting soaked. So loose. Come on. Oh, I drove it off. All right, she's a go. Just gotta get a door boot for it. That's all. Take the marker off. Get a little raggedy, 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 right here. See what she looks like. And I think she'll work. All right. Been a long day, guys. 
guys. It is Monday. I just uploaded that video that I worked on the G washer today. You know, I just picked up this Americ. Bravo washer dryer. Drug drive whirlpool. And I think it's a gas Maytag. Gas Maytag. Okay, let's get these unloaded here. You tell me try them out. See if they work for you. If they don't work for you, I'll pick one up, whatever you want. If it's all good, just pay me the money. Sorry about the camera. Oh my god. It's been a long day, guys. Long, long day. Come on. Long day. He's unloaded here. I see I'm gonna try them out. See if they work, see what's wrong with them. And go from there. I had a viewer uh, tell me, every time you run that generator, I can't hear you speaking or hear anything. I said <laughs> So I said, what I'll do, I'll put a long extension cord, bring it way at the end there and all that, an extension cord all the way up here, so it doesn't interrupt my videos. Yeah, I thought that would be annoying after a while, but I'll do that. Okay, let's get these unloaded here and see what's going on with these washers and dryers. Washers and dryers. Let me get these unloaded. Okay, this is a gas dryer. That's good. I could use some more gas dryers. They tag performance. Not too bad. Oh, shit. That's not good. One side is good. My God, I don't know what's wrong with that one. We'll figure it out. Maytag crap. <clears throat> one of these things. We'll plug her in and see what happens. And we got one here. Drive, drive, whirlpool. I already checked the bomb, there's no oil leaks. And we got here, I always see this happens. Pop right here. This is electric dryer. Can't chunk that one. It'd be impossible. Oh my God. She's dirty. Oh. I think he told me one of these, I think it's this one here. It wasn't drying. <clears throat> Cause when I, they unhooked it, all the ductwork was wet. So it wasn't drying because his ductwork was all clogged up. He said the whole pipe was literally clogged. And it, and it looks it too. And if you feel it, it's all wet. Wet is a sign that it wasn't breathing properly. So we know that works. That has water in it. That's going to be drained out. Okay. Let's check these ones here and see what's going on with these. Okay, let's try this out. Alright, she's running. Oh, they can hear it. Okay, I just made a ground noise when I started it. Hang on. See, it works. 
made a ground noise somewhere. Okay, it works. Okay, let's get an extension cord and check the washers out. I do have more extensions right here. A little bit better, you don't hear that noise so much. Gonna plug it in here. Alright. Let's get our plug. Let's try this one over here. Okay. Power on. Start. Fill. How do we drain it? <clears throat> oh, right here. Drain. Drain and spin. Oh, start. Let's pause. Lid lock. That's good. Lid is locked. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to give it a bit. This is a gas dryer. I mean, regular dryer. <clears throat> and this is a washer. What's that say? Check overload switch. It runs good. The only thing is the spinning. Spin speed. Right here. Max. No spin. I might give this back because these things are a pain in the ass. It's definitely not spinning. <clears throat> oh, let's tip her down. See your kind of it. Bottom is this. Oh my god, forget it. Oh my god, it's leaking oil. See it guys? That is not good. Oil shot. That's all oil. Let me touch it. Right up something. This has two water pumps. What the hell? Nah, we'll pass on this. This is what he wanted 75 bucks for it. I'll pass on this. Not worth it for me. Electronic crap. He said he's got other, other buyers that can actually fix it. I'm not taking chances on that. Let's try this one. You got it, you know, uh, old school works, old whirlpool here. Reliable washers right here. Let's spin her up. Let's get the water out of here. Uh, let's see, rinse. Rinse. Where's drain and rinse? Rinse. Oh, there we go. You guys can hear it. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She's draining and rinse. She works. The water is coming out. You see it shaking? Don't spin. This is good. Pretty good cleaning. 
don't spin. I don't know if it's hard enough spin or not. I might need a clutch. Can't stick my hand. Oh, I could. Oh, I can get a screwdriver. One sec, guys. Let me get a screwdriver here. Let me get a screwdriver. And we'll just see if we can hold the, the drum. If you can hold the drum, it needs a clutch. Uh-oh. What did I do? Okay, she's spinning. Oh, what happened? Oh, I keep closing the knob. I say the clutch is good because she's shaking. I don't think I'll try to stop that. That's pretty powerful. I can try. I can't hold the screwdriver at the same time. Let me see. No, can't stop that. She sounds good too. There's no oil leaks. different settings yeah she spins on that setting you can see her spin try that setting yeah she works on that too You gotta love the whirlpool, eh? You gotta love the whirlpool. I'm gonna shut the generator off. Tell them I'm not interested in that one washer. Okay, guys, that's it. Oh, you, I'll give this one back, take the 75 off it, and I got that one, this one, and three. So I'll, I'll keep the three. Oh, wait, is there a duck somewhere? What? There's a duck. There's a duck. Okay, guys. All righties. First sale, Tuesday morning. Wow. Guess what I sold, guys? 300 smacks Just sold the corn operator washer. Glad to see that go Beautiful day. I gotta get busy today. Buddy Eric's coming with some more appliances for me. Gonna be a long day Man, this is the worst case scenario here Wow Holy jeez. No wonder it's not running properly Try to clean it. Let me get my pad I'd say this is bad Oh my god who lets this happen? Who does this? Who lets this happen? Oh my God. Look at that. That's pretty much full. Look at that. Holy Jesus, that's terrible. It's gonna need a good cleaning. Finding some treasures, guys. There's something in there. Silver, oh, there's a ring too? Oh my God. What is this? This is a chain. And cheap or silver? I don't know. Probably cheap. I think there's a ring or something in the end there. If I bump it out, I would go through it. Okay. A bit more dirt in there. There's a lot where the vent is there. See it? Right in the bottom, sitting there. Tons of it. Wow. Never cleaned a dryer. Never cleaned in a million years. Look at that, fire hazard or what? Wow, I can't believe this. I can't believe this fuse didn't blow. It kept on going. It kept on going, but it wasn't drying. But I can't believe the thermal fuse didn't go because that's a safety switch. You know what I mean? Usually it just stopped running. That's pretty bad. All right, buddy Eric's on his way here. 
Uh, I gotta get this. Okay. All right. Missing some shells, but buddy just showed up. Stainless steel fridge, baby. These sell really good, working condition. This one I'm giving them back. And he brought me this one here, which is like brand new. And he, I told him what's wrong with it. So the guy says it's something on the computer board relay. Computer board relay. A nice looking dryer though. So I said, no, I'll pass on that. So he's, pick, he's gonna come pick that up again. I'm gonna pass on this one. So these two I'm not gonna grab, even though they're like brand new, but I'm not gonna screw around with computer boards. But the fridge I'll take scores can't be 50 bucks for working freeze fridge stainless steel baby that's 400 bucks all day all day okay he's gonna go pick up some more fridges for me he's already back in an hour hopefully some more stainless steel fridges that's what I need damn I like when I get these fridges it's already sold I got a guy looking for it a rental property owner needs a fridge and stoves. All right, back to work here. I went to Home Depot this morning. Got some hoses. This is what I buy at Home Depot. Washer hoses. They're pretty e easy, simple to put on. 10 bucks, can't go wrong. Home Depot, guys, 10 bucks. So it's nice to replace the hose once in a while, make it look nice, right? People like stuff like that. Yeah, 10 bucks. So I got two of them. I should have got more. Yeah, all right. And get busy here now before he comes back here. I was going to do a delivery, but Buddy Eric just dropped some more appliances off for me. I got a delivery on the truck. I have to come back. Can't leave them sitting out here. I'm sure nobody will touch them. But I'd rather put them away and then go do my delivery. Busy day, guys. Welcome to, oh nice. They are my favorite kind, woohoo. Don't smash into them now. Oh my God, they're Kenmore's. They're Kenmore's, for the love of God. Kenmore's. Yeah, I was on my way doing the delivery. What do we got here? Ooh, ooh, oh, rust. We can fix, leg is there. Not too bad. Washer, carbon size. Drum is nice, I like that. Yeah, I think this will work. Not much rust there, it looks good. Kenmore's. Oof. Hey, you know what, they're Kenmore's. I ain't complaining. Hey, where's my hose? Yeah, they ripped me off a hose. It's a good thing I bought some hoses today from Home Depot. It was meant to be. Went to Home Depot today, bought some stuff for the house. And I said, oh, since I'm here, I'll get some hoses. Never know I might need some. So I picked up two hoses. Let's put these away. Come on, kid, come on. I only do this in one hand. No, not that, that, that key. Hang on. Alright, yeah. Well, I already told you guys about this. It's on the video, yeah. Got some hoses. Oh, I'm getting pretty full here, boys. The other the other locker is full. Right, so a, a good 12, maybe 15. But we're getting full again. So we got some Kenmore's to the family. Oh, I never seen inside here. This could be a write-off. Oh no, it's okay. The Kenmore's aren't bad, I'm telling you. The Kenmore washer and dryers ain't bad. Let's put them away and go do my delivery. All right, we're at the delivery house, townhouse. I'm gonna wait for the lady. I don't think she's here yet. She said 4.30. So, we'll just wait here until the lady shows up. I don't wanna play around with these because they're seized up. I don't wanna cause a flood here or anything like that.
She said, why did I buy the washer for you when it started? Hey, I'm not touching plumbing and cause a flood here, here, and then I get sued. Then she goes, oh, I'm renting here. Well, call the landlord. She goes, what? I, I don't want to pay for a washer. You can't put it in. I said, no, I'm not a licensed plumber. I tried to turn and started dripping. It's so seized, I can't hardly turn the shut off valves. And if I cause a flood here, then what's going to happen? The landlord's going to come after my ass, right? I said, pay me for the washer, and when you get someone to hook it up, there you go. Well, that was bullshit. She didn't pay me my full price because apparently it's my job to hook it up. I said, no, it's not my job. You call the landlord. She just spoke to the landlord. She said, the landlord be... She's going to try to get the landlord here to fix it tomorrow. So she's holding back some money for me to hook it up tomorrow. It's not my job, but oh well. And pick up her old one, so... See, when you get involved in these delivery things, that's why I hate them. Really. Unbelievable shit! I didn't know this was a rental property. I thought it was her place. I went to go touch the, the thing. I said, no, they're seas. I'm not going to play around in these. Well, that was part of the deal. I said, no, it wasn't. Delivery and drop it off and that's it. And I get your old one back. So I said, no, I'm not playing around in these. I don't be responsible. And she goes, oh, I'm going to tell my, my owner. I said, oh, you're the landlord? Sure, that landlord should do it for you. If they're seas, you to change the valves. Oh, my God. I hit those masks and die. And her dog trying to hump his share to me. You get a dog from Italy. They're Italians. Nice people. The damn dog is cute, but she get the hell out of my leg. Hopping my every second and hopping me. Then I go to bring the washer in the house. Dog right behind me with a step as fell and killed myself almost. Because the dog behind my legs and didn't get the dog out of the damn way. No, you get the landlord to change the valves there and then I'll come back and get the old washer. I'm not hooking it up for you. No responsible hooking it up. That's why I don't like doing delivery, guys. You get involved in this shit, you gotta be careful. You'll be sued. So she held some money back. Make sure I come back tomorrow. Of course I'm gonna come back. I'm an honest guy. Anyways, going home. <clears throat>